Okay, good morning students. <coughs> My salary Dr. Santosh Kumar Choudhury, reader in chemistry. Today we will discuss the method of preparation of alcohols. Last class we will discuss in class number one in alcohol phenol in the chapter. In class number one we will discuss the what is alcohol, what is monohydric, dihydric, trihydric and polyhydric alcohol. How does the monohydric alcohol is classified? Means which one is a primary alcohol, which one is a secondary alcohol, which one is a tertiary alcohol. Okay? And we have to discuss some monohydric alcohol, allylic alcohol and benzylic alcohol. And what do you mean by dihydric alcohol? The dihydric alcohol means the two OH group per molecule that is called dihydric alcohol. And the dihydric alcohol again two types, one is called ficinal and is called zomina. And zominal dihydric alcohol means the two OH group bonded to the same carbon atom. So it is quite unstable and get lost molecule of water to form corresponding aldehyde and ketones. And ficinal dihydric alcohol means the two OH group are two different carbon atoms, particularly conjugate to carbon atoms. See, then the dihydric alcohol are known as glycerol, sorry, glycol. What is that called? Glycol. And the dihydric alcohol in 3 OH group per molecule, the dihydric alcohol, and the dihydric alcohol are known as glycerin or glycerol. Okay, then we will discuss the, we have to discuss the Nomenclature in common system as well as in IPEX system. In IPEX system, the parent carbon chain that is considered the alkene and the suffix E of the alkene is replaced by OL. And we have discussed some <coughs> isomerism. The alcohols, the monohydric alcohol can exhibit the chain isomerism, position isomerism, functional isomerism, and the monohydric alcohol is functional isomer with ether. And the alcohol which possesses a asymmetric carbon atom means the carbon atom bonded with three different atom or group, sorry, four different atom or group that is called asymmetric carbon atom and those alcohol can exhibit the optical isomerism that is one form is D form and its image is L form. Those are pair of isomer is called in isomer. And it is, uh, uh, and it is uh, you come to our method of preparation, the alcohols can be prepared from alkyl halide, aldehyde ketone, ketones, amines, and esters. Okay, student. And we have already discussed how the alcohol prepared from alkyl halide. The alkyl halide when treated with the moist silver oxide to form corresponding alcohol. During the formation of alcohol from alkyl halide, the halogen atom, the halide ion is replaced by OH group. That means the alkyl halide when treated with moist silver oxide to give the corresponding alcohol. Means the alkyl group remains as such, only the halogen atom get substituted or replaced by OH group. Okay students, today we will discuss the method of people's alcohol from carbonyl group compound. What is carbonyl group? The carbonyl group means C double bond O this is called carbonyl group. The carbonyl group means there are two compounds, one is called aldehyde, another is called ketone. So aldehyde and ketones, this is your Aldehyde means it has a CH group and this is called 
ketone. So this is called CO. The alcohols, particularly primary alcohol and secondary alcohol, can be prepared from aldehyde ketone by two methods. One is by reduction. Second one is by the addition of Grignard's reagent. By the reduction, we can prepare only primary and secondary alcohols. But by the action of Grignard reagent and carbonyl group, we can prepare primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. Okay, students, we will discuss one by one how the carbonyl group get converted into that means how the aldehyde and ketone get converted into primary and secondary alcohol by reduction. So, <clears throat> that is the reduction of carbonyl group compounds. So what is carbonyl group compound? The carbonyl group compound is an aldehyde or a carbonyl compound is a ketone. You know, reduction means addition of hydrogen to the pipe. And the reduction can taking place by using some reducing agent. The reducing agent provides the nascent hydrogen This hydrogen can reduce the carbonyl group compound, the corresponding alcohol. Means aldehyde can reduce to primary alcohol and ketone reduce to secondary alcohol. So what are the reducing agents we are using? The reducing agents are lithium, aluminium hydride or sodium borohydride. or hydrogen in presence of nickel. So this reducing agent, particularly these two reducing agent not affected to carbon-carbon double. It can only reduce to carbon will compound. Whereas this reducing agent affect to carbon carbon double bond. In other words, when you are using such a reducing agent, the lithium aluminum hydride or sodium borohydride, it can reduces only the carbon group. Reduce only carbon group but not to the double bond. When we are using a catalytic hydrogen means addition of hydrogen presence of catalytic or catalytic reduction, this can be affect both double bond, carbon double bond as well as the carbonyl group. So you are using the choose of the Reducing agent, what reducing agent we are use. Next, go, go, come to how the reduction is taking place in carbonyl group compound and aldehyde and ketone. You know, the reducing agent provides the nascent hydrogen. You are using some reducing agent 
lithium aluminum hydride when this lithium the aldehyde ventilated lithium aluminum hydride it reduced to but reduction means addition of hydrogen that way the addition taking place just as the carbonyl group that the carbonyl compound one sigma bond and the pi bond the pi bond get cleavage and hydrogen will added here what will happen c h2 c h2 this o became oh you see this ch group became ch2 oh this is your primary alcohol so any aldehyde can reduce to corresponding primary alcohol that means the during the reduction the aldehyde group the jwar cho is reduced to give primary alcohol remember this similarly how this will reduce is the keto group that is it can reduce with nascent hydrogen you are applying lithium aluminum hydride and this will break here h h this became C, this is your H, OH, this is your secondary alcohol. Means the ketone is reduced to secondary alcohol and aldehyde reduced to primary alcohol. That means the keto group means CO group is a reduction, it gives you CH OH group. This is your secondary alcohol. So, what is your, uh, what is your conclusion? The conclusion is the aldehyde is reduced to primary alcohol and the ketone reduced to secondary alcohol. Let us see some examples. <clears throat> the suppose you are taking aldehyde. That is R CHO treated with lithium aluminium hydride and reduced with nascent hydrogen. But eleven, this group is reduced to primary alcohol that it gives you. R CH2 this is your primary alcohol this is your what aldehyde suppose you take formaldehyde this is your called formaldehyde or in IPEC system this is called methanol Methanol get reduced in presence of lithium aluminium hydride. For eleven, this group will reduce to give CH2OH, and this CH2OH, this H is there. It became CH3. That is CH2OH, or you can say CH3OH. This is cardiac. Aldehyde that convert to methanol. Now, if you take suppose <coughs> CH3 CHO, this is called ethanol and reduction with lithium aluminium hydride. This group one is reduced to what? CH2OH. What company will get? You will get here CH3, CH2, OH. This is your ethanol or acid or uh, ethanol, ethyl alcohol. Okay, students, you see the aldehyde is reduced to corresponding 
primary alcohol. Now, you take some ketones. Suppose <coughs> the reaction almost same. In case of ketone, suppose this is your ketone. And the ketone contains carbonyl group. This is your ketone. And this ketone is reduced in presence of lithium, aluminium, hydride. This group is reduced to secondary alcohol that is R, C, H, R, O, H. This is your secondary alcohol. Okay. Suppose you take propanone or you will say what is called it is acetone or propanone or we call it is as known as acetone when reduce in better lithium aluminium hydride and this group will reduce to a second alcohol group that it gives you CS3 CH OH CS3. This is your propane 2 OL. This is one type of secondary alcohol. Okay, students. This is the preparation of primary alcohol and secondary alcohol from <coughs> aldehyde and ketone by reduction. Suppose <coughs> I take an alcohol and aldehyde, that is what you know, this is known as acraldehyde. It is one type of alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. When this one the treated with lithium aluminum hydride and some are treated with hydrogen in presence of denka. It will give two different products. Yeah, the product suppose this is A, this is B. Can you identify what is A and what is B? You see, in this case, you are using the reducing agent lithium aluminum hydride, which can reduce only the carbonyl group, not the double bond. Means by using this reducing agent, if I'm right, this one will be reduced, CHO group, not C double bond. C. This bond will not be reduced. So we will get a compound that is here you get a CH2 double bond CH CH2 OH. That means this reduction has an effect only the carbonyl group. But what about this one? And this reduction has an that is catalytic reduction which can reduce both the double bond as well as the carbonyl group. So the compound, when you reduce this one, this will come to CS3, CH2, you see, HH, CS3, CH2, bond, CH2, OH. You mark both the reducing agent, reduce the carbonyl group, the aldehyde group to primary alcohol, but one is reduced, not affected the double bond by other effect to the double bond. Okay, student, this is the preparation of primary and secondary alcohol from aldehyde and ketone by carbonyl group compound. Now, we come to another method how can we prepare the primary secondary tosyl alcohol from aldehyde ketone by the action of. <coughs>
by the XNF Grignard's reagent. What will be this Grignard's reagent? The Grignard reagent is alkyl magnesium halide. You know the carbon alkyl group contains carbon, the carbon atom linked with the more electro positive magnesium. So due to difference in electronegativity, this part carrying your fractional negative charge, this part is fractional positive charge. That means it is a one type of what molecule? Polar molecule and this part acts as a nucleophile. You know the carbon compound containing your carbon oxide double bond and the carbon group compound undergoes nucleophilic addition reaction. What is this nuclear addition reaction? When the carbon group are present in either aldehyde or a ketone, when contain, contact or react with Gignard reagent. You know in carbonyl group, this is your more reluctant duty, this positive fractional negative charge, this positive fractional positive charge. And the Gignard reagent it possesses R possesses negative charge, MGX possesses positive charge. That's why this Gignard reagent added here. How that? This side come to R, this side come to MGX. This is Fractional negative, this is fractional positive. So you give a, a addition product that is called adduct. The adduct is C R O M G X. This is called your adduct. Adduct means some addition. This is called adduct. And this adduct is unstable. This is upon acidic hydrolysis. What is acidic hydrolysis? Due to acidic hydrolysis, this will be bond break here. This side O here, this side H. You so saw the hydrolysis means water. H2O, H2O. So this became the C R O H plus M G M G O H X and this is somewhat you are alcohol. So the carbonyl group undergoes nucleophilic addition reaction with Hignard reaction to form some addition compound. And the addition compound is called adduct, and this adduct is unstable if you have an acid hydrolysis gives you alcohol. So, if you need primary alcohol, if you want to prepare primary alcohol, this must be H, this must be H, so it became this is H, this is H, it becomes R, C, H2, OH, that's primary alcohol. Means, the Gignard reagent reacts with formaldehyde gives primary alcohols. If it is R, this is H, so one of the group become R, another group be H, that is R, C, H, R, O, H. This is secondary alcohol, so any aldehyde gives you secondary alcohol. If this is R, this is R, that gives you ketone. That means the Gignard reagent react with formaldehyde which upon acidic hydrolysis it gives you an primary alcohol means other than the methyl alcohol or methanol and the Gignard reagent react with aldehyde other than formaldehyde it gives you a secondary alcohol 
the Gignard reagent react with a ketone. It gives a tertiary alcohol. So we can prepare the primary, secondary, tertiary alcohol by using the Gignard reagent and the <coughs> aldehyde and ketones. So there are three types of aldehyde and ketone. What you say? The formaldehyde is one kind and aldehyde is another kind and ketone is another. Suppose I want to prepare any primary alcohol that is your <coughs> primary alcohol. So the primary alcohol can be prepared that is Gignac reagent RMGX react with formaldehyde. So, this is your Gignard reagent and this is your formaldehyde like Gignard reagent R across the formaldehyde and form addition compound So, what is this body break here? This became H, C, H This is your R, this is your uh, what? M, G, X And this is unstable. This car addition compound is called adapt. This is upon acidic hydrolysis. This hydrolyze here it gives R CH2 OH plus Mg OH. So this is your primary alcohol. In primary alcohol you see it contains CH2OH group and this CH2OH group coming from this formaldehyde. That means the formaldehyde get converted into CH2OH and this R alkyl group from what? From this one. From this one. From alkyl. If it is methyl, you can say CH3, CH2, OH. If it is ethyl, well, look at C2H5, CH2, OH. That means first case we will get your ethanol, second case we are going to I will give a question. Can you complete it? In one step, <coughs> suppose <coughs> I'll take CS3 MgBr. This is called methyl magnesium bromide that react with <coughs> formaldehyde or the scalp. Methanol with the compound which are on acidic hydrolysis because it forms a, a unstable intermediate that is unstable addition compound. What will happen? This will gives you CH2OH. This one gives you CH2OH and R, R means CH and this group is given this one and this one is given by the alkyl group. So this is your ethanol plus MgOH. Are clear? And this is RCH2OH and the primary alcohol group CH2OH group from formaldehyde and the alkyl group methyl from ethanol reagent. Okay, student. Now I will give another compound. Suppose C2H5 
MgBr plus formaldehyde with Japan acidic hydrolysis. This is caliber ethyl magnesium amide. Can you write what product will get? From this one you can write CH2OH and what CH2OH? C2H5 CH2OH. The product is but C2H5 from Ignat reagent and CH2OH from formaldehyde. Uh, that means methanol. It gives what is this is propane 1 OH or propane plus magnesium hydroxide bromide. Try to complete this. Suppose I will take <coughs> phenyl magnesium bromide. What do you take? Phenyl magnesium bromide. The react with formaldehyde. This is called phenyl magnesium bromide. This is addition compound, give addition compound, the compound on acidic hydrolysis and give a product. Can you write the product? What is the product? The product became Benzene tree means C6H5, CH2OH that gives you benzene alcohol. Try to write the structure and name the compound. And this is the synthesis of <coughs> what primary alcohol from Gignat reagent. Let us come to preparation of secondary alcohol from Gignat reagent that is your. Secondary alcohol. You know the Gignat reagent react with an aldehyde other than formaldehyde. Aldehyde means CHO2. Other than the formaldehyde, it gives a secondary alcohol because this one gives addition reaction that is gives you R dash C H. Oh, here is R Mg X. This is your adduct, and this is about hydrolysis. What is it? Acidic hydrolysis. This gives you R C R days. R C R days. H is there. CH OH plus Mg uh, OH yeah. and this is your secondary alcohol. You see, in secondary alcohol, it containing two alkyl groups. And the alkyl group R from Gignard reagent. And this R from Gignard reagent. And the R des from Alia. That means this group. R des CHOS group. This is from Aldehyde group. Suppose I will take <coughs> methyl magnesium. Bromine that react with acetaldehyde. This is upon acidic hydrolysis. Gives back product. You know, the Gignard reagent react with aldehyde other than the formaldehyde. It gives a secondary alcohol. It gives what? 
secondary alcohol and the secondary alcohol has two alkyl groups and one alkyl group from Gignard reagent while other alkyl group from aldehyde and the CHO group of the aldehyde it changes to CHOH what group? CHO group changes to CHOH so you can write now CH3 one alkyl from Gignard reagent and CH another alkyl group from aldehyde and then CHOH means this is from Gignard reagent and this group is from aldehyde so this is your what alcohol? 1, 2, 3 this is second alcohol this is your propane 2 oil plus Mg OH Br. This can magnesium hydroxide bromide. Okay. Suppose I take this one that is CS3. Sorry, I will take here C2H5 Mg Br ethyl magnesium bromide. I did it with suppose same study height. This is upon acidic hydrolysis. Can write the product here. What product will you get here? That is one alkyl group is C2H5, while other alkyl group is CH3. You will try to write the product, and this is BK. The product name is Buten 2 OL. That is, this became what the, the product is. This CS3 became what? C2H5 and the CH3 this could be CS3. So, this is the preparation of a secondary alcohol from aldehyde and ketone. Mind it by the using Gignard reagent, you cannot prepare the methanol. That is your primary alcohol. That is your first alcohol and methyl alcohol. Because the methyl alcohol containing one carbon atom. So here you have to prepare the alcohol that have more than one carbon atoms. Next comes to preparation of <coughs> tertiary alcohol. Preparation of tertiary alcohol from Gignard reagent. So the tertiary alcohol can prepare from Gignard reagent that is RMGX that react with a ketone. What is this called a ketone? Suppose this is R dash, this is R double dash. You know, the Gignard reagent will added in the carbonyl group. So, from an intermediate that gives you R dash C, R double dash, R from Gignard reagent, this is your OMG X. And this is Kaliwar adopt. And this add up on hydrolysis, actually hydrolysis, this gives you R dash C, R double dash, R OH. This is your sorry, alcohol plus MG OH. You see, the tertiary alcohol containing three alkyl groups. The alkyl groups are one is R, another R des, and then R double des. And you see the R des and R double des from the ketones. Means these groups, the total this is this part from 
ketone and this one from Lignat reagent. In some cases, are they are this and a double may be same. Suppose I will take a compound like your methyl magnesium bromide. That react with suppose acetone. And this is upon acidic hydrolysis. You see, in acetone, this is R there, this is R double days, both are same. And this is your R means R, R days, R double, all are same. You will get a torsid alcohol containing 3 methyl group. The alcohol is CS3, C, CS3. CS3 OH. You got this part from, so okay, I will write the name. This is your 2 methyl propane 2 OL, one class of torsory alcohol. Because by torsion, because it is presence of COH group. And this torsory alcohol and this part from your ketone. And this part from not present. It is easy to write. Easy to write. Means the torsory alcohol containing three different or the three numbers of alkyl group and the two alkyl group from the ketone and one alkyl group from the not reaction. Okay, student, these are the method of preparation of primary, secondary, tertiary alcohol by using the Gignard's reagent. Next you come to <clears throat> preparation of alcohols from alkyl. Alcohols from a one, two, this third number method from alkyl. What do you mean alkyl? Alkyl means it containing carbon carbon double bond. The alkyl can convert it into alcohol in three different ways. One is called acidic hydrolysis. Means the sulfuric acid in presence of water or water in presence of sulfuric acid. And another method is oxy mercuriation and de mercuriation by using what mercuric acetate. What is you are using? Mercuric acetate that is Hg CS3 COO all twice per mercuration plus in tetrahydrofura per mercuration. Demercuration means it must be reduced with sodium borohydride. This part, this is for mercuration and this is for demercuration. Then it forms corresponding alcohol. Another method is hydroboronation and oxidation. Hydroboronation and oxidation means that it can be diboron that is called for boronation. And oxidation, you treat it with hydrogen peroxide in presence of Na or alkaline hydrogen peroxide. So this is called hydroboronation means 
due to the boron SN due to B2H6 and oxygen SN due to this hydrogen peroxide. That means by any by three methods the alkene converted into what? You honor this get converted into alcohol. So what is the difference between in these three processes? In these three processes, <clears throat> that is in first process, this is your second method, this is your third method or process. In first process, carbo cation intermediate and follow the marconi cops that means the intermediate carbocation and follow the marconi cops rule means the OH group goes to the double bonded carbon atom of alkene which possesses less number of hydrogen atom. Means this is applicable to unsymmetrical alkene, alkene copper. And second one is <clears throat> it does not form any carbocation, it follows the Marconikov's rule only. It does not undergo any carbocation intermediate. And what about the third one? Third one does not follow any Marconi cups okay so you will discuss the one by discuss the, this process one by one so <clears throat> suppose you come to first one acidic hydrolysis of alkene That is your acidic hydrolysis of alkene. What is the alkene? Carrigan double bond. Hydrolysis is the water in presence of a dilute sulfuric acid. During hydrolysis, this pi bond is break break, one side is OH, another side H. This became OH H. This is your alcohol. This is your alkene. So <clears throat> if you take R C S double bond C H2, this is your alkene. That are added with water in presence of dilute sulfuric acid. The water will be added here. It follows the water. Markonikov rule because it is an unsymmetrical alkene. So the OH group, the addendum is water. Water means OH is minus, H is plus. So the OH this side, H is this side. This gives you R C H OH bond. CH3, this is your secondary alcohol. Suppose <clears throat> I'll take ethene, it is water in presence of dilute sulfuric acid, what product it gives? That means it gives this pi bond is break here. H OH or OH H so it gives you CS3 CH2 OH this gives you ethanol. This is your ethene. So ethene and hydrolysis 
or addition with water in acidic medium to give ethanol, corresponding alcohol. Suppose you take protein. Added with water in presence of dilute sulfuric acid. You know this is antibiotic alkene. You can follow the Markan Kopf rule. And a kind of Markan Kopf rule, the OH will come to this side, it's come to that side. So it forms what? CS3, CH, OH, CS3. This is your propane 2. Okay, this is the acidic hydrolysis of alkene. Next come to the second one is second process is mercury, mercuriation and demercuriation. Second one is mercuriation. and D mercuriation so you starting with the alkene you treated with mercuric acetate in presence of water when you treated the mercuric acetate, the OH group from the water will come to here and oh sorry, this hold twice. Mercuric acetate, one has will go to loss molecule of acetic acid. Because this head and this acetate ion. Acetic acid, so this became it give an addition product. This side is OH, this is HG CH3. COO. When this is a reduction in presence of sodium borohydride, this is called mercuration, this is called sodium mercuration, and this can be to demercuration, it gives you COH CH. And reduction plus HG plus Set it. So, okay. So that is called mercuriation, and this two is called demercuriation. Means D means what? Loss. D means loss. Loss of mercury. So suppose you take ethene that treated with. Mercuric acetate and H2O. Second, treated with sodium borohydride in a polar solvent, a kind of product. What will happen? H is one side, OH is another side. That means it gives you CH2, means CH2 plus H, CH3, CH2, OH. This is your ethanol. First gives mercuration, then it gives you demercuration to form alcohols. Suppose you take propene, this is your ethane. Suppose you take propene. On mercuration, Hg. CS3, COO, hold twice, and H2. Second one is sodium borohydride because both the process are taken simultaneously. Mercuration, demercuration. But however, in this case, we follow the Markovnikov rule. Markovnikov rule, we have simply see addition of water only. And the H2O, 
the watch from this side has come with our side, this three came. CS3, CHOH, CS3, this is your propane to oil or secondary alcohol. Okay, student, this is your mercuration and demercuration, the alkene. Last one is come to the hydroboronation and oxidation. <coughs> And the last one is hydroboronation and oxidation that is called hydroboronation and oxidation. And you know the hydroboronation and oxidation that is called B. It's BO reaction. Hydroboronation and oxidation is called HBO reaction. And the HBO reaction does not follow any Markovic of proof. So this is your alkene. Sorry. When treated with diborane, B2H6 in tetrahydrofuran solvent. But pen, this will added here. So this became R CH2 CH2 whole thrice B. Means if you take this two molecule, this gives you two molecule. This is your tri alkyl boron boron. Trialkyl boron. This trialkyl boron and oxidation with hydrogen peroxide in presence of sodium hydroxide. This bond is break here. The boron carbon bond is break one side OH, another side OH. It will come to R CH2 CH2 OH. Molecules. This gives you six molecules plus two molecular BOH or thrice. Means the here the, the presence of carbon boron bonds like this one. This is boron. Okay. And this body break oxidized here. Here the OH. This side is OH. So the alkyl will contain your OH group. And boron and boron what? Watch. And this became what is this is known as H3 BO3. This is your boric acid. That's why it's called hydroboronation and oxidation of alkyl. And suppose you take ethene treated with undergoes HBO reaction means treated with B2H6 in presence of tetrahydrofuran and second reagent is iron peroxide in presence of sodium hydroxide and this group R means is became CS3 CH2OH. H you will add water H and what indirectly. So it gives to C2H5OH plus H3. Suppose you take propene, this is your ethene. Suppose you take propene, you treat it with B2H6 in presence of tetrahydrofuran. Second is your hydrogen peroxide in presence of sodium hydroxide. You know, it does not follow any Markovic of rule. It does not follow any. Marcan group, it simply always gives you primary alcohol. That means it gives you CS3, CH2, CH2, OH plus H3, O3. This is your, sorry, um, sorry, and this one is called ethanol, this called propane.
Okay, student, these are the methods to convert the alkene to alcohols. Suppose I will give a question. <coughs> Suppose I want to to take propene. What is this propene? CS3, CH, double bond CH2. This is your propene. Suppose propene is convert to propane to oil and another reagent is convert to this is your propanol and you using a region A here a region B is here what is A what is Similarly, I will one, I will another question that is this is your methyl cyclohexene. It, it undergoes HB reaction and it undergoes acidic hydrolysis. It gives a product A and product B. So what is A and what is B? Try to solve these questions. Uh, try to solve this question and get a definitely answer. Definitely will get. Okay, students. Uh, this much today. Today we'll discuss about the method of preparation of alcohols from aldehyde and ketones and from alkyl. The al aldehyde ketone get converted into alcohols by the action by the process of reduction or by the action of Gignard reagent. The formaldehyde react with Gignard reagent gives primary alcohol. Any aldehyde react with Gignard reagent gives a secondary alcohol and any ketone react with the Gignard reagent it gives you a tertiary alcohol. Similarly, the alkene get converted into the alcohols by three process. One is called acidic hydrolysis, another is called mercuriation and demercuriation, another is called hydroboronation, oxidation, that is called HBO reaction. Okay, student, you will see in next class, and in next class, you will study the some other any other preparation and you will study the properties of alcohol. Thank you, students, to all of you.